You'll soon be able to watch News 5 tonight and all the other programs on Mediacorp's seven free-to-air channels for free on the internet. A date and further details of the service will be revealed later on. This was among several announcements made by Minister for Information, Communications and the Arts Jakob Ibrahim at a trade event called the Infocom Media Business Exchange today. It started off as a small telecom trade show in the 1980s and has now grown into a global platform for broadcast and communications professionals. This year, it attracted some 2,000 companies and over 50,000 delegates. Speaking at the launch, Singapore's Minister Jacob Ibrahim gave a taste of what consumers can expect with the latest breakthroughs using internet technology. He said within the next year, consumers will be able to freely access Mediacorp's seven free-to-air channels in Singapore and overseas. This initiative will also be a good way for overseas Singaporeans to keep abreast of events at home through the latest local TV programs and be entertained by other programs that Mediacorp have rights to. For Singapore's regional broadcaster, Channel News Asia, the Broadcast Asia show was an ideal opportunity to screen its 3D documentary produced in Singapore. Called 24 Hour Asia, the 3D documentary is only the second made in Singapore 3D documentary for TV. We are very proud to be part of this production because again, it's about being on the cutting edge of innovation, pushing ourselves technically, training our team and providing content for our viewers in the most compelling, newest format, really being on the edge so that we can constantly provide innovative, good content out of Asia. Singapore's also on track with plans to go fully digital. The Media Development Authority is kicking off a digital TV trial with up to 700 homes in the Bedok and Ang Mokyo areas. The trial is for a one-year period beginning August this year. The media sector in Singapore is also set for a very exciting and challenging year ahead. Minister Jacob says the pervasiveness of the internet has resulted in a change in consumer viewing patterns. This has in turn led to the content operators being more innovative in their content delivery platforms. Also announced today, the government will give Singapore's retail, tourism and F&B sectors a $15 million boost to harness mobile technology. It's to encourage them to create user-friendly mobile applications to enhance their competitiveness. This could include mobile commerce or creating wireless point-of-sales.